Okay, so my plan is, if it works, we're going to go down Rattlesnake, up, I think it's Iron Mountain, and then come back down Otter. And then I think... Iron Mountain? I think that's what it's called. called. I think so. The one that was covered with the leaves. Uh, oh, it's called Lone Mountain. Oh, maybe Lone Mountain. Something Mountain. Four letters, you know. So I think if we go this way to the mountain one and then back up the Otter Piney Plains one. Woo! that rock coming over that hump. about this spot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Whew, man. Steep. Steep, steep, steep. I thought he lost the cooler lid.
creek snakes its way. It's just one curve after the other, the water just falling right along. Now we ought to pull off here and walk down there, haven't we? That squirrel, he was hauling ass across that fallen tree there like a bridge. <laughs> That's like the second one today I've seen. They like hauling through there. Yeah, he can walk down easy on this side right through here. Foot travel, welcome. No ATVs. Is there a sign that says that? Yeah, right there it says huh. it says that the you know ATV traffic off road would cause erosion, which would damage the wildlife. But look up. Foot travel's welcome. Throw a hand up. A pretty cool little rock right there. Check that out, man. Something's coming. Probably that same guy again. Probably done laughed again. It's coming the other way, I think. Which still could be him. <sighs> That's cool, man. She come down here, bae. Pretty neat. Well, I'm glad I wore my muck boots after all. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Wonder what the name of this creek is. Man, it's, not, uh, it's definitely a creek. I don't think it's a river, right? It's not part of the South Peddler River, is it? Is there a South Peddler River? Huh? Is there a South Peddler yeah, River? Yeah, we pass over it coming in. Uh, there's a roadway that passes over it. Or it's either called Peddler River or South Peddler River. I can't remember which, but it's it's got Peddler in it. It probably I know. feeds into it. That's cool, man. You can tell the water has been up high recently. I mean, you can see where it's, you know, probably when they were getting all that rain, it was definitely coming through here. Now, you can tell this water's cold, but these boots where they're insulated, your feet aren't getting cold. Like just a, if you had a regular pair of rubber boots on, your feet would be cold right now. This water's not not warm at all. Is that him again? I can't tell yet. Sounds like it. Is he coming this way or I can't tell which way the sound's going? I don't know. It keeps changing on me. Looks like getting closer and then further. <laughs> okay, tree limbs. <laughs> the helmet, I didn't realize I was that close to it. That's a strong little current right there now. <laughs> Put your foot up like that, you can feel it push. Yeah, this is a cool spot right here, man. This water comes in from up that way, too. Um, down that bank right there sometimes.
that's why I think if you're going through here the rocks are less slippery right through here <laughs> curious why the engine noise stopped. I don't know. Did, you, did he get to the Terrapin Trailhead, you think? Is that where he maybe parked at? He's been stopped or something? I don't, I don't know. know. This is where they join at right here. That little string that way. Wow, check this out, babe. This right here is like all rock, solid across. Uh -huh. You know how like it is um, some of the rivers up in North Georgia we've been to. You know, yeah. it's just like solid all the way across there. <laughs> this would be a good spot for lunch. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, as long as the mosquitoes weren't bad or anything like that, it'd be a it'd be an awesome spot. You're not coming any further. Huh? Can't hear you. Cause I'm not saying anything. Oh, uh, I thought you couldn't hear. I thought you were saying something. I didn't know if the center had cut out or something. Good thing about these rocks though is, is even though it's all solid, it's it's got ridges in it, which doesn't, you know, allows it to, uh, you to have a little grip on it. Be careful. Did you hit your head? I did. You got a that's a, that's a low clearance side of the bridge there. <laughs> I was ducked, but apparently not enough. Huh? Not enough. Uh oh. Uh oh what? Uh oh. <laughs> that was a snake. The baby one. A snake. Yeah, right there. What kind of snake? I don't know. He he moved before I could uh, get a real good look at him. I mean, he he moved on. Uh, he's right there. <laughs> Wouldn't expect to see him out today. I tell you that. He's evidently not cold enough for uh, to scare him off just yet. I expect that would be the only other thing if it was warmer weather, you know, you'd have to potentially watch out for more snakes down here. But I, to be honest with you, I mean, he, I don't know what he was. He had kind of like little, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not no snake expert, all right? I don't even try and analyze it. It was just a baby one, though. I don't don't care for snakes, I tell you that the Squirrel just ran across that tree up there that's across the river. Back that way? That way. Oh, that way. Or when we first pulled up, there was one hauling ass across that one behind you. He was getting it across there when we pulled up.
a little almost like a little whirlpool right here <laughs> It gets calmer right through here a little bit. They're talking about that snake, babe. I mean, it could have just been a regular water snake. There are water snakes that are non-venomous, but I never saw his head. Like I said, I just caught a glimpse of his body. He, was, he obviously wasn't, wasn't coming after me. He was trying to seek cover, I reckon. But this little tree right here creates a little dam. Now this is more of a waterfall here. <laughs> Check that out. Be careful. I don't exceed my boot limit. Too cold to be getting wet feet. <laughs> it's deep right there, man. <laughs> Woo. I can feel the pressure of the water around my boots. That's it's a current here. I mean it's Definitely a current below the surface of the water. That log right there is what's damming it up when it fell a tree. Creating a dam here. Cool. When you lift your foot up in these boots, they're very buoyant. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, if I'd have had a, a stream like this near my house growing up, I mean, there were streams around, but not like, not to this degree, man. I would have been playing down here all the time. thing is back home it's harder to find you know usually i guess that's typical when you go to the mountains though more is that you find more rocky bottom streams like this than back home they're more sandy and silt bottomed but these like this right here are obviously uh just about all rock which is the way i like it because heck you can walk through this and you don't even cloud the water up Yeah, he was right. He went right down under that that little hole there, that pile of leaves. <sighs> Getting hard to see, ain't it? <laughs>
Mm. Well, harder to see in the water, I mean. Just the glare. Alright, I'm in the bushes. That's some kind of evergreen, ain't it? Seen any cool rocks that you want to collect? It's a round one there, ain't it? <laughs> Almost like a ball. Well, that was worth the stop. I like the fact we got to get out and go down, walk down in here. Although it may have messed up our timing, but that's okay. Well, if we do like that guy, we'll be able to hit everything, right? Sometimes you have to stop and take in the sights. <laughs> Part of the experience. That tree's dead, isn't it? Or most of it, at least, except for the very top. Like somebody must have hit that because that's part of this, I guess. Yep. Well, I mean, I, not that I would have thought they would, but it's nice that, I mean, they let you uh, walk down there, you know. I mean, some people are not satisfied unless they can drive in there. I, me, I, to be honest with you, I mean, I... I'd like to, you know, walk it 